In this video, we'll be going over the various options in the utility menu. We'll break them down into two categories. First off, the wireless settings, and then the hardware settings. We'll also be showing you how to change the look of your arrow by adjusting the LCD and language settings. There are many advanced networking options for wirelessly connecting your devices with the XDJ Arrow, most of which you will never need. But if you have a specific type of network that you want to work with, please refer to the user manual. It is still possible to change some basic settings that are relevant to most users. To view the current settings, select WLAN information. You can also tighten up security or change the wireless password in the WLAN settings menu. From here, you can also add a more memorable or personalized SSID name. The hardware settings in the utility menu allow you to customize the playback behavior. You can adjust the auto cue level, which sets the threshold volume for setting auto cue points. You can set the unit to enter auto standby after different times of inactivity. If enabled, the load lock function stops tracks from being loaded onto actively playing decks. Finally, version number displays the firmware version of your arrow, should you need to check an update. You can also adjust the look of the LCD screens with contrast, and even change the color. You might find it easier to read if you invert the display for night or daytime use. The arrow can also display up to 18 different languages. In the next video, we'll be giving you a detailed look at the mixer on the XDJ arrow. If you have any questions about what we've covered in any of these videos, you can discuss them online with other Pioneer users and Pioneer moderators at forums.pioneerdj.com.